hi students so today we will do a few important questions of plane finding the foot of perpendicular and image of plane plane jo hai students ko kafi mushkil lagta hai mostly students ko but plane is a very easy topic you just need to understand a few basics jaise sabse pehle ye line hai line ke jo direction ratios hai they are always along the line बट जो प्लेन होगा जैसे ये क्या है दिस इज प्लेन नॉट माय हैंड तो अभी इसको इमेजिन करो कि दिस इज प्लेन तो इसके डायरेक्शन रेशोस कैसे होते हैं दे आर ऑलवेज परपेंडिकुलर टू द प्लेन लाइक दिस सो दिस इज नॉर्मल टू द प्लेन नॉर्मल का मतलब ही होता है परपेंडिकुलर तो नॉर्मल टू द प्लेन एंड डायरेक्शन रेशोज ऑफ प्लेन लाई अलॉन्ग द नॉर्मल टू द प्लेन That means ये जो लाइन होगी जो नॉर्मल है पर पेंडिकुलर टू प्लेन डायरेक्शन रेशोज लाई अलॉन्ग दिस लाइन बट इफ वी टेक अ लाइन देन डायरेक्शन रेशोज ऑफ लाइन ऑलवेज लाई अलॉन्ग द लाइन एंड दिस इज नॉर्मल टू द प्लेन एंड डायरेक्शन रेशोज ऑफ प्लेन ऑलवेज लाई अलॉन्ग द नॉर्मल सो दीज आर टू प्लेन दिस इज नॉर्मल ऑफ फर्स्ट प्लेन and this is normal of second plane so in this case when the two planes are parallel to each other so you can see that their normals are also parallel to each other so in this case their direction ratios will be proportional because for parallel lines direction ratios are always either equal or they are proportional so if these two planes are perpendicular to each other like this plane and this plane they are perpendicular to each other so in this case we can see that their normals are also perpendicular to each other so when the normals are perpendicular to each other direction ratios of normal to first plane is a1 b1 c1 and direction ratios of normal to second plane will be a2 b2 c2 then for perpendicular lines lines means normals तो उस केस में परपेंडिकुलर की जो कंडीशन होगी दैट विल बी ए वन ए टू प्लस बी वन बी टू प्लस सी वन सी टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो यू आर टू रिमेंबर दीज पॉइंट दैट डायरेक्शन रेशोज ऑफ अ लाइन ऑलवेज लाई अलॉन्ग द लाइन वाइल डायरेक्शन रेशोज ऑफ अ प्लेन ऑलवेज लाई अलॉन्ग द नॉर्मल टू द प्लेन विच इज परपेंडिकुलर टू द प्लेन एंड फॉर टू पार्ल प्लेन देर डायरेक्शन रेशोज आर प्रपोर्शनल for two perpendicular planes their direction ratios are given by the relation a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to 0 now let us start with our first question find the length and foot of perpendicular from the point p 7 14 5 to the plane also find the image of point p in the plane so ye hai plane whose equation is given which is 2x plus 4y minus z is equal to 2 and p is a point we are to find foot of perpendicular to the plane foot of perpendicular matlab if we draw a perpendicular from p to the plane then the point where it meets the plane is the foot of perpendicular that means we are to find q the coordinates of q which is foot of perpendicular and we are also we also need to find the length of perpendicular that means pq ki value find out karni hai and we are to find the image of point p in the plane so let p dash be the image of point in the plane so we need to find the coordinates of p dash also so in this case image will follow the same laws of physics that object distance is always equal to image distance that means q will be midpoint of p and p dash so first of all we need to find point q now here we have only one um, equation which is equation of plane 2x plus 4y minus z is equal to 2 equation of plane in general form is ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 capital abc are coefficients of x y and z and capital abc are called direction ratios of normal to plane so plane ki equation is this this is equation of plane so 
we can find the direction ratios of normal to plane so direction ratios of normal to plane will be 2 comma 4 comma minus 1 but normal is pq only so direction ratios of pq will be 2 comma 4 comma minus 1 now we can find equation of line pq to find equation of line we need only two things one the point on the line which is p and second is direction ratios of line which we have already calculated so equation of pq will be x minus x1 upon a is equal to y minus y1 upon b is equal to z minus z1 upon c instead of x1 y1 z1 we will use 7 14 5 5 and instead of a b c we will use 2 comma 4 comma minus 1 so equation becomes x minus 7 upon 2 is equal to y minus 14 upon 4 is equal to z minus 5 upon minus 1 we can take it equal to lambda if we compare the value of first term with lambda so we get that x is equal to 2 lambda plus 7 and value of y is 4 lambda plus 14 value of z is minus lambda plus 5 so these are the coordinates of x y z actually x y z is point q only because uh, from the equation of pq we have calculated the values of x y z so x y z point lies on pq because it is in terms of lambda so lambda can take various values to find infinite points on the line pq so we can assume that point to be q so q is equal to 2 lambda plus 7 Four lambda plus fourteen minus lambda plus five. Now we can see that Q lies on the plane. Q lies on two x plus four y minus z is equal to two. So instead of x, we can put two lambda plus seven. Instead of y, we can put four lambda plus fourteen. And instead of z, we can use minus lambda plus five is equal to two. When we calculate these values. 14 plus 56 minus 5 is equal to 2. We find that value of lambda comes out to be minus 3. So putting this value in this equation, value of uh, we have got the value of Q as 1 comma 2 comma 8. So foot of perpendicular जो होगा that will be 1 comma 2 comma minus 8. Now we find need to find the length of perpendicular also. length of perpendicular pq comma 8 so we can use distance formula in this case y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square so 7 minus 1 whole square 14 minus 2 whole square 5 minus 8 whole square that gives us 36 plus 144 plus 9 Which is equal to one eighty nine. One eighty nine is three root twenty one units. So this is length of perpendicular. Now to find the image of point, as we have already seen that Q is midpoint of P comma P dash. So let P dash is equal to A B C. So P is Seven comma fourteen comma five, and Q is one comma two comma eight. Q is midpoint of P and P dash. So using the midpoint formula, x one plus x two upon two, y one plus y two upon two, we get seven plus a upon two is equal to one. This gives us the value of a as minus five. Then fourteen plus b upon two is equal to two. So b is minus ten. Five plus c upon two is equal to eight. So c is equal to eleven. Image of p comes out to be minus five comma minus ten comma eleven. So I hope this question is clear. This is very important question from both point of view. 
we will do one more question of this type find the image of the point having position vector i cap plus 3j cap plus 4k cap in this given plane so first of all this point is given so i cap j cap k cap coefficients uh, this is in vector form but you can write it in partition form point p is 1 comma 3 comma 4 just simply take the coefficients of i cap j cap and k cap that will give you point p and plane is r dot r can be written as x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap dot 2 i cap minus j cap plus k cap plus 3 is equal to 0 so on taking dot product we get 2x minus y plus z plus 3 is equal to 0 Now plane is two x minus y plus z plus three is equal to zero. Point P is one comma three comma four, and let P Q be perpendicular to plane. Q is obviously foot of a perpendicular. So whenever we need to find the image of a point in the plane, first of all we always need to find the foot of a perpendicular. And let p dash be the image. P dash we can take as a comma b comma c. So doing in the similar way, direction ratios of normal to plane are two minus one one. So because p q is perpendicular to the plane, and we have calculated the direction ratios of normal. P q is perpendicular, so p q is parallel to normal, or p q is same as normal. So we can take direction ratios of p q as two minus one one only. First of all, we will write direction ratios of normal to plane two minus one one. Therefore, direction ratios of p q will also be two minus one one. so we can find equation of pq using the formula x minus x1 upon a is equal to y minus y1 upon b z minus z1 upon c is equal to lambda x1 is uh, point p is 1 comma 3 comma 4 so x minus 1 upon 2 is equal to y minus 3 upon minus 1 is equal to z minus 4 upon 1 is equal to lambda so we can find values of x y z in terms of lambda x is equal to 2 lambda plus 1 y is equal to minus lambda plus 3 z is equal to lambda plus 4 these are values of x y z so we can take it as point q which is 2 lambda plus 1 minus lambda plus 3 lambda plus 4 now uh, q lies on the plane so putting the values of x y z in the equation of plane we can find the value of lambda 2 uh, q lies on 2x minus y plus z plus 3 is equal to 0 so 2 into 2 lambda plus 1 minus minus lambda plus 3 plus lambda plus 4 plus 3 is equal to 0 when we calculate it value of lambda comes out to be minus 1 so we calculate the value of q by putting lambda is equal to minus 1 which is minus 1 comma 4 comma 3 so this is value of q minus 1 comma 4 comma 3 now in the plane point p is 1 comma 3 comma 4 q is minus 1 4 comma 4 comma 3 And p dash, we can also take it as x one, y one, z one, or a b c or whatever. So q is midpoint of p p dash. That means one plus x one upon two is equal to minus one. Three plus y one upon two is equal to four. This four plus z one upon two is equal to three. So here we have used midpoint formula. Midpoint is given by x one plus x two upon two. So this gives the value of x one as minus three, value of y one as five, and value of z one as two. Image of P is minus three comma five comma two. since we are given every value in the vector form in question so we will give the answer in terms of vector only image of point p is minus 3 comma 5 comma 
so instead of writing it in coordinate form we will write position vector of image which is minus 3 i cap plus 5 j cap plus 2 k cap i hope these questions are clear to you so thank you for watching and all the best